So, hello and welcome back to another video, guys. Now, that's right, today we're reviewing yet another Netflix movie. Netflix has been on a roll this year, releasing a lot of stuff. Don't blame them. A lot of people at home, it's kind of the perfect time for them to kind of jump on board and release as many films as they can. Um, and a few of them have been good. There's been a few good Netflix films this year, none as good as Marriage Story from last year yet. Um, but we have had a few good ones. And today I'm going to talk about one that's not very good. I'm going to be talking about The Babysitter Killer Queen. Now, a lot of you are probably going, why are you even bothering talking about this one? And I don't really know, to be honest, but I'm on here to talk about it. So, The Babysitter had a film that came out in... Ooh, was it 2017? Yes, 2017. And you know what? It was cheesy. There was nothing really good about it filmmaking-wise. But it was fun and entertaining. And I feel like most of the actors actually done a somewhat okay job. I, I had a fun time with the first one. It's not a great film by any means. But I, I thought it was fun enough where I was like, yes, I'll watch the second one of those. Why not? Um, so... I then saw who was directing this one, and I'm not sure if he directed the first one. Let me let me have a look. I don't want to get stuff wrong here. Okay, so this guy did direct the first one. Um, his name is just M M C M C G. M C G. Literally, that's honest to god his name on IMDb. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. Um, so this guy <laughs> has directed some utter, utter, utter shit. Uh, so when I saw that he was directing this, I didn't get my hopes up. So he has, um, for a start, he directed Rim of the World, which was bloody awful. Um, and I, he also directed Terminator Salvation. Um, so I didn't have hopes here. And here he has delivered... Is it his worst film? I don't know. Rim of the World was pretty terrible. It's not as... It's, it's worse than Terminator, that's for sure. But this is, like, awful... Awful filmmaking. Um, for a start, everything about this film sucks. Uh, <laughs> the pacing is awful. The editing is unbelievably terrible. The film's a mess. The effects and... The, just the effects in general, they just look awful. The acting is unbelievably bad. Like, the acting is straight up horrible. I mean, I have to pull out... I mean, this is... No shock to anyone, but Bella Thorne is in this movie and she sucks most of the time. Somehow she wasn't awful in the first one, but this film, my God, her acting is abysmal. <laughs> the lead actor is doing a terrible job in this one. Terrible. Uh, Samara Weaving, you can tell she does not want to be in this movie. You can tell she don't. She definitely would have been offered a bigger part in the film. She definitely turned it down, just come back for a small scene at the end. And you can so tell she doesn't want to be there. Um, every, everyone just is just terrible in this movie. Um, the story makes no sense. Things aren't explained. Uh, I hate where it's set as well. It's set in the middle of nowhere. And it's just, it's just a very bad looking movie. It looks like a high budget YouTube movie. Um, yeah, the, the story is just, it just sucks. The ending's crap and awful. Um, the music choices in it are terrible, um, other than Killer Queen, that's a banger. Um, but, yep, Babysitter Killer Queen is, without a doubt, one of the worst movies I've seen this year. Um, it's, it's just laughable. I finished the movie and I was laughing. Um, yeah, that's, that's honestly about all I have to say on Babysitter Killer Queen. Um, don't watch it. It's, it's bad. It's a really bad movie. And it's a shame because the first one was alright. And if anything, it's kind of ruined the first one for me. Like, I'd never, ever want to watch the first one again now. Not that I probably would have, to be honest. But if I ever got the urge to watch it again, it's, it's gone now because of this movie. This movie is... <laughs> it's unbelievably bad. And I have yet to see a good review of it, to be honest. Everyone hates it. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible movie. Um, yeah, there's just nothing... In terms of filmmaking, there's nothing good about this. There really isn't. I can't think of a single thing I liked off the top of my head. As I say, the acting was bad, the editing was bad, the music was bad. Um, there was no cinematography, really. It was just terrible. The effects were embarrassing, like when one character got her head ripped off and it, it looks awful. <laughs> right, Baby's Here, Killer Queen, one going to give it out of ten. I'm going to give it a solid one. I think this movie is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible movie. Uh, but anyway, that is it for this review, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message, and I'll see you all next time for another video. Bye-bye.